MitoY DNA has added some new tools for the Y and mitochondrial compare and match functions. These new tools add some exciting features to your DNA experience. Go on the top menu, click on Tools to go to that page. I'm going to specify my kit number here. It'll leave the um, genetic distance at three, and I'm going to change the number of markers to 37. Click on uh, Y-DNA match. And I get uh, seven matches to my kit, which is the one listed at the top, showing a total of eight kits. Uh, this table lists all of the allele values uh, or a haplotype uh, for each kit that matches and shows the genetic distance at 25, 37, 67, and 111 markers. And it highlights markers that are uh, different. There's a legend at the bottom uh, that explains the color coding for the marker ranges, 1 through 12, 13 through 25, etc. The buttons at the bottom are the new features um, that allow you to do graphic graphical uh, information on, on this particular uh, set of, of kits. The first is the Dean McGee uh, utility that processes the STR data to produce several useful charts. Let's click on uh, McGee and MitoY DNA collects and, uh, the data in the correct format and puts it in the clipboard and launches the McGee utility. On that page, paste the data into the field called paste haplotype, haplotype data here. I'll click paste, and then I click on execute. Three charts are produced. Uh, the first one is the haplotype uh, table. The utility computes the modal value for this set and compares their haplotypes and highlights the differences with different color codes by genetic distance. Here you can see that the uh, 31 for DYS449 is in green for that represents a genetic distance of 1, and the 3439 for uh, CDY in yellow represents a genetic distance of two. The second chart uh, is the genetic distance matrix. That's a comparison of each kit to the others with the intersection of the same kit um, showing the number of markers tested for that kit. And the color code at the bottom, across the bottom, uh, shows the relatedness of each kit. The green is tightly related, yellow is related, pink is probably related, and uh, blue is possibly related. Similar to um, uh, the chart above. The third chart shows the estimated TMRCA for this group in generations. Uh, for the GD3 um, kits, it's um, 3 to 25 generations. Uh, for the GD0 kits, it's 0 to 12 generations. It's a range for that. And the color code for this is similar to the second chart. Let's um, close this and go back to compare match. The other new tool is Y clustering. 
This takes advantage of Rob Spencer's website for DNA tools called Scaled Innovation. Click on Y clustering and you'll get a um, click, paste on clear, clear and paste in the results that Mito Y DNA has, has put in the clipboard and click on start the analysis and you'll get a, a dendrogram. A dendrogram is a tree diagram showing uh, taxonomic uh, relationships. So in this chart, you can uh, graphically see that these six kits around the, the circle are tightly related in the network and that these two kits, which uh, correspond to the uh, GD3 that we saw other are, are, are not so related to this group, but are related to each other. You can look at the options and also see this chart in a linear format. You see with each kit and the relatedness that was show, also shown in the circle diagram. Other uh, uses of Rob Spencer's tools are integrated into MitoY DNA. If I click on one of the, the kits, I'm taken to their Y uh, DNA page where if a haplogroup is specified, I can click on track and see the migration path of that haplogroup we zoom out so you can see that. So you can see the, the um, migration path of the haplogroup from Y Adam here through modern times up to the uh, from paleo Paleolithic up to the Iron Age represented by each colored dot along the path. I go back and then select SNP age. I see the path of that haplogroup through mutations to current day. So from the first one about 240,000 years before present, all the way down to the terminal SNP of our YP276. Uh, that is about 2,300 years old, represents about 210 FTDNA testers. And if I scroll down to the legend here, I see that the little feather icon represents a uh, Native, Native American. So if we go back to tools, I want to type in the mitochondrial, uh, my mitochondrial kit, which is T10431. I'm going to keep the, change the generations to six and change it to the HVR1 region. And now click on empty DNA match. It's just showing me uh, the kits that, that match that uh, my kit number. And here I've got the mitochondrial DNA clustering similar to the Y. If I paste in the information from MitoY DNA and start the analysis, you zoom out, I get the dendrogram uh, of that. And, also nicely shows that these are haplogroup K with the yellow uh, dots and the one green is haplogroup H, which matches with what we've seen in the haplogroup for uh, mito -Y DNA. And one of the nice options in, in the tools is you can click on the camera icon and click create um, picture.
of your dendrogram that was produced by the clustering tool. Here I click on that, I can see that uh, that was saved. Well, those are the new tools. Uh, thanks for watching and look for other tutorials on your YouTube channel, on our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Uh, MitoY DNA is a nonprofit 501c3. So if you like the website and enjoy the videos, please consider donating to our cause of creating a free Y-DNA and mitochondrial DNA database that's accessible to all. Thanks.